see Mr. Wilson Uwajaren. He joins us via telephone now from Abuja. Many thanks for coming on the program, Mr. Uwajaren. Uh, let me quickly uh, take you up on uh, the issue of the planned protest at your headquarters in Abuja. This group are saying they do want uh, the former minister to be extradited to Nigeria. Uh, are you planning to do that? And uh, the question is, why is it taking long? Because we've even heard that the woman at some point had denied some of the allegations against her. Mr. Wajiren, if you can hear me, thank you so much for joining us. There is a planned protest by the uh, Mumu Don't Do group headed by um, Charlie Boy. And the plan is that they are asking that the EFCC extradite uh, former Minister of Petroleum, Mrs. Alice Madweke. Uh, what are your plans and are you planning to extradite her? And what is the details you can give us on the case against, that you have against the woman? Uh, uh, thank, thank you, Sharon. Uh, it is interesting that um, a segment of the population are outraged by the massive difference that uh, the nation witnessed in the last few years. As uh, uh, evident in, in the case of the design investigation that the Commission is still on. Um, what I can say is that the Commission is becoming more than ever before to recover every dime of what has been stolen by people that find themselves in, in the corridors of power. But answering your question directly regarding the uh, tradition of uh, the journey, I think um, the proper agency to, to talk to is not the ESC. The ESC, contrary to the views of some people, is not the one in charge of its tradition. Matters of its traditions are handled by the Office of the Attorney General, the traditional Minister of Justice. He is the right person to talk about. Uh, a tradition of anyone, any Nigerian from any part of the world. Has the EFCC tried to uh, push that the woman come to face the allegations that you have uh, leveled against her in the past months? Well, I, what I can tell you is that we already have a charge in court in which the Zani was listed as one of the um, a defendant, and in that child, we stated that she's still at large, which means that we were not able to bring her into the country to face trial, which is the reason why she stated that she's still at large. We are still waiting for her to respond because we have invited her for questioning, and that she has not responded, responded to the invitation. We are aware that she's living abroad, and I also know that in the UK, where she is presently based. She was taken to court some time ago and then released on bail. There are legal issues involved. Like I said, issues of um, traditions are handled at a different level of uh, government, which is at the level of uh, the president, the, 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 the gentleman rightly in charge of tradition matters. Luckily, we have a treaty between Nigeria and, and uh, the UK, but those matters are not what the commission handles. How are to investigate and prosecute? But issues of the tradition are uh, handled by the Ministry of Justice. Uh, the, the, the question again is, uh, Mr. Wajiren, these uh, allegations of huge sums involving huge sums of money and these properties. The question will be, who have you been interfacing with? Because I'm very sure that you perhaps have heard reports of her denying uh, that uh, of some of these properties and some of these allegations. Well, I don't think uh, we'll uh, be discussing details of investigation that are still ongoing on, on television, but uh, uh, the point I want to make is that the, the matter that is going on in court, we have initiated for official proceedings in court. Those that matter before court, and when cases are before court, you don't discuss them so much. But uh, I, I, at least in those two cases, we have achieved um, uh, legal decisions. The first one, Court have granted final position of the property uh, valued for at over 35 uh, point something million dollars. And before the final position that came, there was a publication asking for anyone that has uh, issues with the intelligence official to come forward. And nobody came forward. And the final position was done. And I, and this, I think this week there was also another major decision uh, of intelligence official of assets also linked to this same um, <coughs> person.
And so far, no one has also come up to say uh, this property belongs to me. We have done our investigation. The commission has used very, very diligent in, in treating some of these assets, and we believe that we have a case. And if uh, the accused person in the matter believes otherwise, the courts are there for you to take um, opportunities that are valuable to defend yourself. Mr. Wilson Uwajer, spokesperson of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Many thanks for your thoughts there.